All right, what's up, everybody? Thank you for tuning in and welcome back to the Crypto Remora. My name is Wes, and I'm with as always, Sierra Crypto. What's up, Sierra? What's up, man? How you doing? Doing good, brother. Doing good, man. How was your weekend, dude? It was very, very good. Um, I I enjoyed seeing the donk board. I know uh, when you were at work, you kind of called me up. We were going back and forth because we were both, you know, in between jobs and stuff, and it's like. Uh, donk boards finally you know it's like we all knew they were coming friday but right um you know trying to sneak away from the day job for a minute to go over and scoop it and make it happen was <laughs> was uh was a little interesting so i appreciate you helping me out with that and let me know it's like hey man you know so it, that was cool we got our donk boards i'm happy about that did you uh you obviously got yours pretty early on friday didn't you yeah, dude, um, you know, obviously that's something that we've been waiting on, man. They've been hyping it up and talking about it for a while now. And, uh, yeah, they finally rolled them out, and uh, I'm happy with mine, dude. I didn't get any rares, but you know what I mean, dude? Like, it, it, it's cool. It's a cool thought, man. The, uh, you know, the Endless Runner and the, and the Donk Boards and everything that they have going on, man, is just really cool, man. So I'm glad they rolled it out. And a matter of fact, you know, they're still minting, guys. So if you don't have a Donk, Get yourself a donk and go mint you a donk board, dude. These things are so cool, man. Um, yeah, it was good to see. It was yeah. good to see everybody posting their rares and and the turbocharged yeah. jet ones and all that stuff. I got I got a cool looking one. It's a, it's a very simple looking one that I yeah. minted, but uh, the mint video was really cool too. Like dude. the actual experience when you hit mint, yeah, it, it watching was. the video that was awesome, man. I, it was unexpected. It was. It's just cool. I, I like what the guys at Lost Donkeys do and what they put into everything they do. So that's why we're always shilling them. And, yeah, uh, man. But yeah, Donk Boards, we're, we're waiting for that now. I can't wait to play, man. Let's, you know, let's I go. Know. That, when, that's right around the corner, dude. When Endless Runner, Lambo. When Endless Runner. When Endless Runner. <laughs> right around the corner. I'm, I'm ready, man. I'm ready. <laughs> Me too, man. It's going to be dope, man. Um, these guys are constantly working, man, and, and putting stuff out, man. Yeah, dude, donk boards, endless runner, a lot of cool stuff coming up, man. I know they got some uh, other NFT projects that they're kind of involved with too, man. So definitely um, keep a lookout for that, guys. If you, oh my god, I have not. I have to inter interrupt you for a second here. At the time of recording, Bitcoin just went from thirty thousand two hundred up to thirty thousand eight hundred. So. This is the most action I've seen Bitcoin have in one single 24-hour period since, yeah. I don't even remember, I guess 10 months ago, almost a year ago. So, guys, you know, this is exciting, but remember, be careful. You know, you never know what these whales are pulling. Mm -hmm. You know, they could drop it back down to 25K. At the time of this recording, we're pushing on 30,800. But, yeah. um, you know, that could change. So just be smart out there. You know, if you're going to take a little short-term profits to, you know... <clears throat> pay your cell phone bill or whatever you need to do you know <laughs> might not be a bad idea um but also don't don't sell too early either because this is far from bull market yeah. on i know everyone's right. excited right now and everyone's saying we're back we're back you know and i'm even saying that because it feels good to say but yeah. the reality is until we get above forty thousand, and you know with yeah. some serious strength you know just be cautious because we could always come down and retest that 25k level yeah. again um, so this yeah, is just, some, just shout yeah, out for that. This, this is something we've talked about before, man. And like, you know, the, uh, these, uh, bear markets can be very deceptive, man. It, it's, if you look at past bear markets, you know, we get those pumps, but then we have those, you know, retracements and, uh, you just gotta be careful, but still a great time to buy right now. Look at Arbitrum dude up 16%, man. That's Arbitrum really cool to see too. It. Arbitrum is absolutely killing it. It went yeah, from $1.19. It was at a $1.19. Arbitrum's about to break through a dollar fifty right now at the time of record. Dollar forty eight right now, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, really go good baby to see. go. <laughs> it is cruising. Twenty four hours, it's up twenty five percent. Yeah, it's, man. I'll it take is it. Rolling. Dude. It's rolling. It's rolling. Guys, last episode we talked about the perfect storm with the macro environment and everything going on with the Fed and the banks and uh just in general, man, uh stock markets, crypto, um, you know, we're finally getting a little bit of, um, you know, price action here coming up. Um, and, and, you know, we just kind of discussed what projects we were looking at, kind of like what we were, you know, planning on doing, what kind of what we were thinking the future may hold and, and everything that's happened. Now, this video, we're going to be talking about projects that we like 
and getting your bags packed and ready, man. A lot of these projects we own ourselves, full disclosure. Um, some of these, you know, like a, a lot of these projects for myself too, you know, um, and Siri will tell you when I first got in, it was mid bull market. So literally any project that you saw was pumping, you would have made money on any project, period. Um, just throwing money into it. And, um, you know, as you grow and, and you learn more about crypto and, and different projects, you understand what a layer one is, you understand what a layer two is, DeFi, you know, NFT projects. Back then, I didn't know what they were. If I heard somebody talking positive about it, I was buying it because everything was going up. Now, <laughs> you got to learn. You got to know what these things do, what they are. And uh, just, you know, just kind of do your own research and, and figure out what good projects are. We're going to talk about that today. Um, Sierra, anything you'd like to say, man, before we kind of dive into it? No, I was just going to say, man, smash the like, subscribe to our channel on YouTube, and uh, stay, up to, stay up to date with us. Um, we've, you know, our first video, we're, uh, we're on, what we're coming up on episode 20 now, I think. Yeah, Close I think this it. is episode 20, I dude. I think this is yeah. it, episode 20. So on yeah. episode one was called what is arbitrum and that was back before we even knew if we were going to get the airdrop or not we were both trying to farm for the airdrop and now here we are arbitrum we both got the airdrop we've met some incredible friends um shred lambo andrew saunders you know jp crypto jordan el chapo get small these guys have been it's like we have friends in the community now it's like we're we're very lucky to be a part of the yes. Arbitrum community. We're very happy about it, and we yeah. we got the airdrop. But the point of what I'm trying to say is, go back and watch some of our earlier videos. You know, a lot of them we didn't even have us on camera yet. But uh, you can you can trace everything we've been talking about up to this point, and uh, we've been making some pretty good calls. I mean, I'm not going to say we're perfect, but you know, down at 15k when everyone was shouting out, "Oh, Bitcoin's going to 10k," no. No, we both we both told you. Yeah. Wes and I both yeah. told you. You ain't gonna see that ten thousand dollar Bitcoin. Bye bye. You missed that, and oh. uh, we told you to buy then. And now you know it's at thirty thousand dollars, almost thirty one thousand dollars. So you would have doubled your money. And uh, yeah, that's not to say we make perfect calls every time, but I think we mm. nailed it on that call. I think we both deserve mm. uh, a hearty handshake for that call because that was that mm. was a good call, and we uh, we were right. And um, Bitcoin yeah. is just absolutely. This is Jordan Cameron called this the most hated rally ever because people are are bitter. <laughs> Bitcoin was yep. at 15k. They were saying, oh, "I'm not going to buy. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait." And uh, you know, now you're sitting there waiting. If you're still waiting, you're just mad at Bitcoin. You're like, yeah. "Well, it'll go back down," and it just keeps it's just rolling like yeah. you know, 31. That when are you going to say it's coming back down when it hits 40k? I mean, you know. So yeah. I don't know the bears. You know, I think their time is about done. Like I said, we could retrace one more time, but I think the Bears yeah. are about done. So <clears throat> today we're gonna we're gonna kind of dive into some projects that we like. Um, we're gonna start off with layer ones. Uh, the most common layer ones are gonna be your proof of stake and your proof of work. If you don't know what that is, please do your own research and and just kind of you know study these projects. And we're we're just kind of trying to give you a head start on. You know, if you're new to crypto, these are some projects that we would like for you to have on your radar, man. Um, so, yeah, the, the layer one is basically the, the base blockchain, the first level of the ecosystem. And this is going to be your main layer right here. And this is going to be Bitcoin, Ethereum, um, Solana, Avalanche, you know, near protocol, things like that. Um, when it comes to layer one, Siri, what are what are some layer ones that, that you kind of look at and that you like? feel good about okay so i mean the obvious ones you know bitcoin ethereum like i said we're not gonna we don't have time to go over all these things in depth we're not going to explain each project to you but um right. we will go down the list and we we uh we kind of did it by hand on on notes but we're gonna show you in the video you know obviously bitcoin ethereum um those are your two foundational Top points if you're, if you're new yeah. if you're new to crypto you need to start off with bitcoin and ethereum first yeah don't mess around with nothing else till you have a good little stack of both of those and understand what those do. But Bitcoin, Ethereum, um, and I'm just going to read down the list here. Yeah, go uh, ahead. Bitcoin, Ethereum, Dot, which is Polkadot, Solana, um, Algorand, Aptos, HBAR, Chainlink, and one that's not even out yet called Sui. Mm -hmm. um, so these are all layer ones, which basically means they're their own 
blockchains um, and they run their own smart contracts and stuff on them. Um, you know, like I said, we're not going to get into the details on them, but those are those are some solid ones to look at. I don't yeah. hold all of these. Actually, I do. I do hold everything on this list. Um, yeah. My, my other than my polka dot, I had to capitulate my my polka dot, but yeah. I sold slightly in the profit, and, and uh, I was in on the Kraken staking thing, and then they pulled it. They pulled the staking, and then when Kraken started doing all that, I kind of capitulated and was like, "All right, yeah. give me my profits. I'm out." And yeah. um, but I would like to go back into Dot again. I think it's a solid project. Solana, um, easy to use. I still like it. I know it's it's had that FUD with FTX, and a lot of people dog it because it crashes and everything. But yeah. For me, I bought my first NFT on Solana, and it was my first real DeFi experience because I couldn't yeah. really afford to play around on Ethereum, but I could afford Solana because it was just so cheap. Mm -hmm. So to me, I, there's still a place in my heart for Solana. I think, um, you know, as much FUD as goes around about it, I still like it. I think it's easy to use. I think that the masses... Mm -hmm. Uh, if they come in, I think that Solana will be able to hopefully, you know, keep the thing from crashing because it's <laughs> that, yeah. you know, you got to stay up and running. Like, come on, you, you yeah. got to stay up and run. I'm not going to defend to. that part of it. You, you got to not crash. But at the same right. time, it's still in beta. So yeah. uh, still bullish on it. Um, chain link is a cornerstone. Everyone got to have a little chain link in your bag. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, yeah, man, Algorand. Algorand is the the green token, so you know that's yeah. gonna do well. I'm not yeah. gonna go into details on that. Do some research. Uh, Aptos, I did get the airdrop for Aptos. I was early on that, and um, that's that's pretty cool. I got some NFTs on there. H bar is Google's blockchain. Hedera Hashgraph H bar is the ticker for that. Um, Chainlink, yeah. we already said, and Sui. And both of us are farming the the Sui airdrop as we speak. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that that covers all the L ones. What's your uh, what's your take on the layer twos? Cause... So b before we kind of move on oh, to yeah. that, um, yeah. so so Bitcoin guys, you know this is the king of crypto. This is gonna be your your store of value. It, it, like if you're looking for a store of value outside of you know traditional gold and stuff like that. My personal opinion, don't look to Litecoin. Don't look at anything like that. Bitcoin is the way to go. That is your king store of value. Um, Ethereum is going to be your king for, you know, the, the layer ones, the DeFi. The, there's so much that you can do, and that's where these layer twos kind of come, come into play is they are on top of Ethereum, and they help, you know, for scalability and uh, privacy and, and things like that. Um, so... Just a real quick take on Solana, Aptos, Near. I feel like they're going to kind of get segregated into sections like Solana. It's going to be for like the masses, the, you know, the the average retail investor that doesn't really too much care about um, decentralization. Like as long as they're anonymous, they don't really care whether the, you know, the chain stops, goes or restarts. So I feel like retail, and, and that's kind of where Solana and Nier and Aptos, because, you know, they, they all have a lot of in common as far as developers and, you know, the background. Oh, yeah, yeah but, I agree. <clears throat> um, so I feel like the masses, and, and that's why I keep Solana on the radar, and I know me and you have had this conversation. I feel like that's where Solana has, the you know, kind of their, their legging in is, you know, it's going to be for the, for the people in retail that don't really too much care about decentralization they just want to be able to get in get out cheap transactions and uh mess around with nfts and a little bit of DeFi. they don't really so much care for you know the the uh the central point of control that still you know kind of weighs in on solana and some of these projects like that but um as far as layer two and chain link you know that's that's the number one oracle for these layer layer ones to kind of produce and and, and work um with the DeFi and everything so uh layer twos obviously man we we love arbitrum this is something we've talked about um a lot on the show but uh if i had to choose a second it would be optimism optimism is great um i have used it and i think it is a good project i feel like arbitrum obviously has a one up on them as far as you know they easy to use and and bringing people in and you know what i'm saying like and you can look at the numbers too. I mean, Arbitrum is just 
dominant in the layer two. And then you have polygon. There's some things going on with polygon. It's not as easy to use. Um, I, I think that uh, it's going to be harder for people to come in and use something like polygon. Arbitrum, you go to the bridge, you swap over, and then you're good to go. Um, uh, real quick, real quick. Arbitrum yeah. just broke a dollar fifty. <laughs> nice, nice, just, man. <laughs> just broke a dollar fifty. Oh man. <clears throat> yeah, Polygon, man. They they have a lot of stuff going on. You know, you got to look at these funds, man. Like, when did these funds kind of start soaking up? And and what else? What more can they do? You you definitely got to do the you know your own research and look at some of these things. But Polygon is a good project. You got a lot of stuff going on in the background. Optimism, Arbitrum. But some of my wild cards for layer twos is going to be Immutable X which is going to be dominant in the gaming realm and loop ring which a lot of you guys know and probably have heard of um you know with the GameStop thing and same thing with immutable x but um as far as DeFi, siri what's your DeFi projects man what you looking at dude so yeah um just a quick comment because we're we're our time is ticking right now just a quick comment on the solana thing that uh, that you were saying um yeah, this the solana wormhole if that if they get that together and they can actually link up with yeah. cross chain because I think in the next bull run you're gonna see layer zero Stargate you're gonna see yeah. all these cross chain things start to happen I mean I've played around on Aptos and Sui and Solana and I'm gonna tell you right now all three of them list all three of them so if they're not the same developers they're pretty close because every single D app you go on on any of those blockchains interact and you'll see Solana come up like Sui. Yeah. You go on to interact with Sui, you're going to see Solana is one of the yeah. options. You go on Aptos, you're going to see Solana on there. So, you know, I know that th there's some tribalism in crypto and people. Oh, I don't like this one. I like I don't I like this one. But keep in mind the the future is cross chain. I firmly believe that. Um, I still say out of all the layer twos, hands down, Arbitrum's the best. It's always going to be the best for me. Yeah. I've used Polygon. You know, uh, zk Sync is pretty cool. Still not even close to Arbitrum. In my opinion, Arbitrum is way better to use, way better graphics. If good community, I don't really know the community on the other ones, but you know. So um, going into DeFi, one of my oldest holdings uh, is uh, Unibright. UBT is the ticker. Unibright is um, it's kind of like a packing and shipping for the blockchain, but in for real world assets. So. Basically, Coca-Cola was their biggest uh, partner where the South American um, Kona company, which is the Coca-Cola distributing company for mm -hmm. Unibright, or I'm sorry, for Coca-Cola, is it's a way to track and implement. So basically, if a store runs out of Coca-Cola, instead of having a guy come with a clipboard and say, we're out of this many Cokes and we need to call the Coca-Cola company and have a shit, basically the protocol is to automate the entire process and replace the need for um physical packing slips and delivery systems it's basically a way to deliver and track individual it, it, coke that's the best way i could explain to you you know if you could keep track of coca-cola bottles yeah. being sold in an entire country and put it on the blockchain to where you can see on the blockchain where each individual bottle's going and has it arrived yet and you know i think it's revolutionary and it's way, way early. It's like so early that it's like ridiculous. But um, that's one of my first holdings. It was the first DeFi token I ever bought. So it's it's always going to have a special place in my heart. Um, Unibright, you got Uniswap, SushiSwap, Energy Web Token, The Graph, um, Doge and Shiba. We got to throw Doge and Shiba out there because just people love them and they're they're you know. So these, like I said, guys, we're not going into detail on all these. These are just coins that we see um potential for i i will personally never trade doge again because i'm a little bitter i could have yeah. had eighty four thousand dollars and uh, i sold it for fifty dollars instead of eighty four thousand because i was impatient lesson learned you know it's just one of those things but uh yeah that that's uh that's what i got for the DeFi coins i know you you're pretty bullish on graph um and uh, you even have some Unibright, too. I think I held a gun to your head and made you buy some Unibright, didn't I? Yeah. You, you scooped some of that. Yeah. We, yeah. We, we, no, we haven't even talked about the meme coins, man. Like, we're <laughs> the Dogecoin, Shiba Inu. Um, Nitro, Nitro Sheep. Nitro, Nitro Sheep. Yep. Shout out we to like Cheddar that, Bob. Man. 
Um, but DeFi, man, yeah, like you said, Sushi Swap, a lot of the Arbitrum from tokens, man, protocols, GMX, Grail. Um, and I'm even going to be looking at Radium again, man. I think they're going to, you know, liquidity is going to come back. You know, when the bull run happens, like I said, man, Solana is going to catch a lot of that retail, easy to use, cheap transactions. Most of them, like, that was the first, you know, DeFi protocol that I got into was Radium because cheap transactions, e easy to use. And it was simple. Like, I mean, it was simple. So I, I'm going to keep an eye on some of these Solana projects. And Radium is one of them. Serum is one of them. Um, you know, you can't talk about DeFi without mentioning Aave, uh, MakerDAO, yes, I'm you know, glad Uniswap, you said and then, you know, Buffer Finance, uh, Mux Protocol, Vela. Uh, so a lot of Arbitrum projects, but, um, you know, a lot of o older ones too, man, that I'm definitely going to keep my eyes on. So. Um, in the NFT space, obviously get you some magic. Um, Alluvium is one that you Trope. mentioned. Yeah, Alluvium. Um, it's good. And yeah, uh, Oreo Swap, Spurax, Plutus Dow, Jones. Um, we got Buffer Finance. We got mm. Mux Protocol, GMX, yeah. Grail, Perpy, Vela. These are all ones. I'm I, like, keep in mind, we're we're shilling a bunch of tokens right now to you guys, but. Um, these are all coins that we've either both bought in the past and still um, believe in or ones that we're planning on buying in the future for the most part. I mean, I've kind of simplified my strategy down to uh, Arbitrum, Bitcoin, a few Solana projects and, you know, the bigger caps. I mean, right now I'm pretty heavy into Vela. Um, that's that's my thing. I, I, I like the exchange on Arbitrum. I think it's going to do some good things. I'm into yield farming on Arbitrum. So, you know, Perpy, Grail, GMX, all, you know, and of course Arbitrum itself. Um, you know, I've got that in a couple pools. So it's like, you know, between that and the NFTs that, you know, I completely spend entirely too much energy and time on. <laughs> That I don't ever sell, um, but I know you guys out there feel my pain on that. I know, Wes, you're sitting on about 75 NFTs now yourself, so we're not going to go into all that. That's a whole nother video. But, um, yeah, you guys, do yourself a favor and check out these projects we listed. If you don't know where to start, out of the 10,000 coins that are out there, I think we narrowed it down to about 25 or 30. My advice to you as a noob, however, is... Try to bring 25 down to 10 and don't spread yourself too thin for the bull market because that was a mistake we both, me yeah. and Wes both made. When the market sure. was going up, we just started throwing money everywhere because everything was going up and it's like a dog chasing a moving car. You know, you're never going to catch the car. You're just going to, you're chasing it. So don't do that. Take 10 out of the 25 you like, study them, learn them, and go hard and go heavy into them. And I think if you do that, I think you'll find yourself coming out ahead, yeah. uh, whatever the projects are, you know. But I think out of the list we gave you, we gave you a good diverse uh, one. You know, we still got a shout out to XRP and Cardano, even though I don't personally own either one of them. I don't trade either one of them. I there is a ton of people online that love those projects, and the retail amount, the sheer number of people that love them alone, will probably pump, and that that will probably be a good trade. So I will just, say just throw um, that out there. I will say, without saying much about Cardano, XRP, I have a little bit, you know, better feeling about, man. I think that uh, retail will pump it. I think institutions will pump it. The, you know, what right. they're doing, they're actually integrating with, you know, some real utility, man. So that is definitely one to keep an eye on. And then if they come out on top and win this, uh, you know, lawsuit with the SEC, uh, could be a very, very, very um, good lucrative move for you to uh, look at. But, um, yeah, man, um, anything else you'd like to, uh, no, share? I, I just want to say if we didn't, you know, just because we didn't call out a certain project too, guys, don't try to hang us over the, over yeah. the burner because, Oh, you didn't talk about my, you know, there's a million projects out there. You can't cover yeah. it all in a video. It's impossible. And, uh, but at the same time, you know, don't take everything we said as gospel either you need to do your own research do your own research you know for sure. be, be your own boss you're in charge of your own future you know yeah. don't blame influencers don't blame other people for your your poor decisions because your influencer might make a poor decision and then you followed him now you're mad at him you can't do that 
we're not perfect. We're going to make mistakes, you know. So uh, just be careful out there. The bull market looks like it's coming back, but we could get the retrace to 25K. You know, I'm not, I don't want to soil the party, but just be careful out there, everybody. Yeah. All right, guys. I think that's going to wrap it up. Thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Check us out. We put a video out every week and keep you up to date on what's going on. Much love to the Arbonauts. Until next time, peace out, guys.